In this video, I'll be going over the transitions available in OBS Studio, and how to use them. Let's get started. The transitions are located under Scene Transitions. Selecting a transition here, will make this the default transition for all of your scenes. A cut, will immediately switch to the next scene. Commonly known as a hard cut. A fade, will add a cross dissolve between the two scenes. You can set the duration of the fade, in milliseconds. For a slower transition, increase the duration. To add more transitions, click the plus button. You can swipe, slide, fade to a color, add a luma wipe, or add a stinger. A swipe and slide are similar, but different. For a slide, scene 1 will slide out, as scene 2 slides in. Both scenes are in motion. For a swipe, scene 1 slides out to reveal scene 2, that's already in position. Just like a slide, you can change the direction of the transition, to go from the left, the right, up, and down. Checking swipe in, will slide in scene 2, to cover scene 1. If you need to access this transition's properties again, click the three dots, then properties. The next transition, is fade to color. Click select color, and pick any color. I'll stick with black. Now click OK. The peak color point, is when you want the color to fully cover the screen, so it can switch to the next scene seamlessly. The next transition, is Luma Wipe. In the Luma Wipe properties, you'll soon realize, that Luma Wipe, isn't just one transition. It's 34 transitions. You can do simple linear wipes that go from left, right, up or down. Some can go diagonally. You can add some softness to the edges, or no softness at all. Invert, will reverse the transition. A lot of the transitions here are a bit dated for me. But I do like the linear transitions, as well as Sinus 9, Watercolor, and Cloud. Let me know in the comments, which one of these you liked best. And thanks for watching the video until this point. If you're finding any value in it, please give it a like. And consider subscribing if you're looking for more content like this. Now, let's talk about stingers. There aren't any default options in OBS for stingers. So you'll either have to make them, or get them through sites like Motion Array, or Pond5. The one I'll be using, is from Motion Array. Click Browse to select the video. You can set the transition point type, to either time, or frame. Now if I preview this transition, you can see that it switches to scene B, before the transition can cover the page. To fix that, let's add a transition point. You may need to do a bit of trial and error with your stinger, to find the right spot. In my case, 700 milliseconds will do the trick. Enable hardware decoding when available. This is more of a beginner tutorial, so I'll skip track mat for now. I'll save that for another video. Audio monitoring, can be left off. For audio fade style, select crossfade. This will add a smooth transition between the two scenes. Click OK, and you're done. I have a couple more useful tips related to transitions. If you want a specific scene to have its own transition, you can right click that scene, go to transition override, and select the transition. The rest of the scenes will be unaffected, and will continue using the default transition. You can also set some transition hotkeys. Go to settings, then hotkeys. In filters, type scene. You can assign each scene a hotkey. I'll set control 1, to be the main scene, control 2 for the screen share, and control 3, for the starting soon scene. It's best to add a control, alt, or shift to the hotkeys, in case it's pressed by accident, and switches in the middle of a stream. There are a few other transition hotkeys you could add, but these can only be used in studio mode. I'll go over that, in my next video about studio mode. So now when I click control 1, it transitions to the main scene. Control 2 goes to the screen share, and Control 3 goes to the starting soon scene. It also maintained the transition override that we added to the starting soon scene. And that's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. 
and subscribe for more content like this. Hope to see you in the next one.